afternoon hey everyone today we are preparing my smoker to do some ribs now the way I do it let me get this turned around here to make cleaning up a little bit easier inside the cooking chamber I line the bottom with aluminum foil and then rather than spend money to get a fancy plate to regulate the heat coming inside what I simply do is I slide a grate over there I take another sheet of aluminum foil that I've folded in half and I just fold it down like that and that'll help me regulate the, the heat coming inside the smoker because the heat is also right there and I have my coals going in my chimney starter if you've never used one of these chimney starters before all you simply do is get a couple sheets of newspaper stuff it up in the bottom pour your coals in there light it on fire 15 minutes later your coals are ready to go your food won't have any of that charcoal fluid taste to it all right we're going to get going here and and uh we'll get back so our coals are ready to go in, in the uh, chimney and i'll just simply pour them into the smoker box Slide all the coals down there. Whoop, a little warm. Slide this grate out of the way. Today, I'm using a combination of, of uh, mesquite chunks. And what I do to Kind of warm them up a little bit. I put them on the side there. That'll warm them up, and they'll actually start smoking after a while. Well, we're gonna let this get up to temperature, and then uh, we'll throw the ribs on. And the smoker is up to temp, so we're gonna put the ribs on. Now, I rub my ribs with. A combination of a couple seasonings. I'm not going to tell you what kind of seasonings to use to rub rub onto your ribs. You just use your favorite stuff. Dump them out of the bag onto the rack and then arrange them. I don't use any kind of special rack. I just put them on there. The only thing that I do is the ones that have a lot more meat, I put them in front. So they're the first. So now we're just going to have to wait it out. 3, 2, 1. Or 2, 2, 1. Two hours in. Rotate. Two more hours. And then an hour in aluminum foil. That's how I do mine. We'll get back to you. We're going to check the progress going on here. Um, looks like we're maintaining about 250 that's gonna be good yeah, looking good maybe need to 
Look at this. Just a way, just a bit. Get some separation in there between the two. This is just my method. I know everyone has their own way of doing things. And uh, these are going to be backyard ribs. Um, no need to do any kind of competition style stuff. So they'll fall off the bone. Let's look inside the cooking chamber or the fire chamber. You can see that uh, the wood chunks are they're already smoking and they're not even down in the fire. Now occasionally what I'll do is I'll take an ice scooper that I have right there and I'll just grab about four or five, nah, five or six Maybe a few more um, briquettes and toss them in there, and um, just to keep the temperature steady. So let me get this closed down so we can get some heat going on, and we'll check back later. Now our next step is we're gonna wrap this stuff up in aluminum foil and let it cook for a little bit and then we'll take it out of the aluminum foil and let it cook on the grill for about a half an hour or so we'll get back to you all right we're gonna take it out of the aluminum foil Then we're gonna let it go for about an hour. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna get to this and we'll get back. And our ribs are just about ready to come off. Now we don't put no sauce on this. If you want sauce, we'll put it on, but Normally, because of the rub, it has a very good taste to it. Right now, all we're doing is waiting for the corn to warm up. So, everybody have a good day. Until next time, see you later.